Notice there's no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey, Manian Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. And today we're going to review the book, One Dog's Faith, How My Dog Helped Me Trust in God and Overcome Chronic Worrying by Tom Baker. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of our YouTube watchers, all our blog followers, all our blog readers. Thank you for all the authors that we've come in contact with, the publicists and publishers and others. Please bless them all. Please watch over us all, guide us all, direct us all, and keep us safe from all harm. And thank you for sending your Son to die on the cross to save us of our very many sins. It's in Christ, most holy, most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, we were given a copy of One Dog's Faith, How My Dog Helped Me Trust in God and Overcome Chronic Worrying by Tom Baker. And let me tell you, well, first of all, this is the first video we've made after a long hiatus uh, because of hospitalizations and that sort of thing. So a little rusty with these videos right now, but that's okay. Anyway, we've reviewed this book, read it from cover to cover, and let me tell you, it's a very interesting and wonderful and inspiring book. We give it all five stars. We think that this book is just absolutely great. Uh, it's funny. It's the story of faith as told through the eyes of a dog named Mango. Uh, Mango lives in a house full of uh, vegetarians, and so she's the only one that gets to eat meat, her and probably the cat, Kiwi. This is a wonderfully inspiring story. We see how Tom, the author, learns to have faith in God or to become stronger in his faith in God. Um, and how his journey is seen through the eyes of his dog, Mango. It can be very funny at times. Uh, Mango says some very funny things. Um, some about noises that she hears in the night and uh, other things. And about squirrels and just a lot of fun stuff. Um, at the same point in time, the message is all inspiring. It helps us to learn from our uh, about our faith and learn from our problems, what we face, that, uh, hey, these problems are things that God has uh, helped us to go through, has helped us to endure, because we need to have them and we need to grow. We think this is a wonderful book. Again, we give it all five stars. We think you'll enjoy it. We think that uh, if you're struggling in your faith or if you have uh, some of those episodes going on in your life where you just can't see God there or can't imagine why God's allowing you to go through them, then uh, this book very may well help you see what uh, God has in mind. We have to learn to let go and let God. Well, if you've uh, seen this video and you like it, uh, please drop us an email over again these videos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. Please give us a helpful vote here on Amazon. If you're watching this on Amazon, if you watch it on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, please give us a like. And uh, let us know what you think about the video that kind of way. Leave us a comment on the uh, YouTube channel. Also, if you see this on the blog, please give us a uh, follow our blog and give us a, a helpful or a like or whatever on that particular blog. And we thank you. Thank you. Notice that there is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk. Wow, Giddy, uh, a book written by a dog? Well, it's kind of about a dog, written by a dog. It's actually by her, uh, her owner. Oh, so her owner wrote the book, but he said that she wrote it? Not exactly. He's just trying to tell the tale as if the dog were telling it. Oh, I see. Um, anyway, good book. Yeah, very good book, Hammy. Oh, okay. Hey, people, if you'd like to see more of me at the end of these videos, please drop me an email over at Seymour Hamlet 
at gmail.com. That's letter C, period M O O R E, period H A M L E T, at gmail.com. I'd also like to give a shout out to my uh, Aunt Ellen over at 15andmeowing.com. Uh, she sent me. Hold it up, Gindy. She sent me a beautiful little picture made out of buttons. It's supposed to be me, and it looks a lot like me. Uh, I don't have any glitter on my nose, but other than that, it looks a lot like me. Anyway, she did a good job, and thank you, Aunt Ellen. Anyway, I've got a, a twoop if you'd like to send me a twoop. That's that thing with the bird, you know, the bird goes flying by sometimes. Anyway, if uh, I did it right, or Giddy did it right, the bird should be flying at my, my, my Twitter handle in here. It's uh, that funny looking at sign. The capital C underscore, uh, capital M O O R E underscore, capital H A M L E T. Drop me a twoop and let me know how much you like me. Thank you. Bye! This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.